Welcome everybody, Jerry with 3DHP. I've got a couple last minute Christmas gifts I made, and right after this quick intro, I'll show you where I got them and how I made them. Stay tuned. What is going on everybody? Welcome back. Let's talk about this amazing wall. This file came from Etsy. It's done a multiple layers, painted and glued together with super glue. And it came out amazing. This will be a Christmas present for a relative that I'm doing. It was done in Baltic birch. It's like four or five millimeters thick each layer, as you can see, and they're all glued together. And this file came over, came off of uh, Etsy. I'll show you the page here in just a minute. Then the second thing I would like to talk about is this beautiful cross. This was done by Rich, the LA Hobby Guy. The Lord's Prayer, very nice. And this is also going to be a Christmas gift for one of my loved ones. I'm, I'll probably make a second one for myself and put it here. But yeah, it's very beautiful, very nice. And my friend Rich, the LA Hobby Guy, just done a video on it, which I'll show you here on the screen in a second, where he explains in great detail how he made this, how he done the letters and some things. And then there's a link to his website, which I'll show you here. Here, let me jump over there and I'll show you. And here's the link to both those sites. Okay, right here over on Etsy, we've got the multi-layer wool. It is very reasonable. There's tons and tons of files like this over on Etsy. You buy them, and you simply cut them out of uh, Baltic birch, uh, basswood, whatever you may have. You paint the different layers, and then you glue them together. And then uh, Rich over at engra uh, engraveandcutfiles.com is where you can pick up this file. He has many great files. The man is a genius when it comes to light burn and all the work that he does. And here it is right here for $7.99. When you click on the file, it goes through. Let's see here. Well, here's a picture right here. Okay, right here, when you download this, there is one that's uh, 8.4 by 11.8, or another one that's 10.5 by 15 in size. It's got the base, the middle, and the top. Now, one mistake I made, because I use thicker Baltic birch, this slot right below the word top, I forgot to increase that. I should have made that bigger. So I wound up having to cut that bigger after the fact. But yeah, the file's printed really nice. It's very beautiful. And then Rich just came out with a video this morning. Right here at DeliHobbyGuy.com. Uh, auto welding text and note editing advanced tutorial. Uh, and Our Father Prayer Cross. And he goes and explains all that he done on the cross. What he, how he done a lot of the work on it. Well, let's jump over to the laser real quick. I got my MK2 by Rolly. And it's a Lasermatic 10 slash 20 watt. The um, laser head on it, it has a switch. I can go from 10 watts to 20 watt, whichever one I choose. And let's get to burning.
And it's all done, man. This thing is beautiful. I just love this. I went over, after I glued it together, I super glued it all up. And uh, you can use Elmer's wood glue or uh, any kind of a wood glue or super glue should work perfectly fine. Just clamp the base together or press it together until it holds firmly. With super glue, I simply held it for about a minute and each layer was fine. And then, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. I hit, I hit it with a clear coat once I was done. I thought about doing a light paint on it, but I don't want to possibly cover up any of the cut lines with the paint getting in the cracks, but it came out beautiful. Um, I had one little blemish in the wood right there. It's like a little white spot. That was already in the wood. And this I plan on making much larger and putting on my wall. This is beautiful, wonderful file, cut perfect. I just used random acrylic paint that I had to make this. I, I simply love it. I almost don't want to give it away as a Christmas present. It looks so cool. But I want to make another big one and put it in there on my wall in my laser room. But I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you to all my channel subscribers. I'll list them here on the screen. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments, please leave, please leave them down below. And everybody have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And until next time, guys. Later.